top of the morning to you, and welcome back to Let's Mix To That, a show where we mix special cocktails for special occasions. This time for St. Patrick's Day, or whenever you're in the mood for a good Irish cocktail. I'll show you how to make four delicious cocktails using Irish whiskey, so whether you're looking to celebrate your Irish heritage, join the St. Patrick's Day celebrations, or just want to enjoy some good whiskey, this episode is for you, and there's a pot of gold waiting for you at the end of the rainbow. I mean, episode. Before we start, I have to tell you that liking this video and subscribing to the channel brings you the same luck as finding a four-leaf clover. It's just a lot easier, so go for it. Now, if you're ready to celebrate everything Irish, let's mix to that. The whiskey I'll be using for today's cocktails will be in the Polk Castle, single malt Irish whiskey. It's been aged for 12 years in charred ex-bourbon casks, producing a balanced, light and dry flavor. Other Irish whiskies that will go well in today's cocktails are Bushmills, Redbreast, Tilling and Jameson Irish whiskey. Let's start the Irish cocktail journey with something easy, the Irish buck. Here are the ingredients and tools you'll need. Irish whiskey, of course, some lime and ginger beer. All you need is a jigger, a citrus press and a bar spoon. I'll build it over ice in a Collins glass. Let's start by chilling the glass first. Then, let's build the cocktail. I love making simple cocktails like this. We made the whiskey highball in Easy Bourbon Cocktails episode. But making a Tom Collins, a Moscow Mule, or in this case, an Irish Buck, is just as simple. Sometimes all you need is to mix the right choice of spirit, citrus, and a mixer, to get great results. That's certainly true for this cocktail with a kick of ginger and lime but it will still pay nicely with the Irish whiskey. If you want something with less of a kick, use ginger ale instead. Enjoy the Irish buck. Cheers! Now that we've warmed up, we can go for something that requires a bit more work. But it's worth it. Trust me, we're making the Irish meat. You can't make that without Irish whiskey, but you'll also need a cucumber and a floral liqueur lemon juice and some simple syrup. That's one part sugar dissolved in one part water. Here's the first hack of the day, perfect for anyone celebrating St. Patrick's Day. If you want to turn your sour cocktails green, just add a small amount of matcha green tea powder into the shaker and you'll end up with a cocktail as green as a shamrock. That's what we'll do today. And while I'll mention the shaker, you'll need it alongside the jigger, a citrus press, a muddler, hot horn and fine mesh trainers. That's because we're not throwing the whole cucumber in there. Two slices will be enough, especially after we model that together with the whiskey to make sure we get plenty of flavor from those slices. This cocktail is an Irish twist on the Kentucky Maid, a bourbon-based contemporary classic created by Sam Ross at the Milk and Honey, a legendary New York speakeasy. We're not only using a different whiskey, but also swapping the herbal component, a little flower liqueur in place of mint, and a teaspoon of matcha green tea powder, which will be enough to turn it into a lovely shade of green when we strain it. We'll do that for a large clear ice block that has been tempering in a chilled rose glass. But first, shake hard with ice, then double strain to catch any small bits of set ice and cucumber. Thanks to the elderflower and cucumber, it's slightly herbal, floral and refreshing. Irish whiskey provides a nice backbone for what could be your next favorite summer drink, slunch. Moving on to something that is a perfect sipper after dinner or before dinner, anytime really the stout fashion, an Irish answer to the original cocktail, topped with Guinness beer foam. We'll use a spirit, sugar, bitters and water. In our case, that will be Irish whiskey, rich the malala syrup, a combination of aromatic and orange bitters, and of course, ice. But we're also adding Guinness stout for the foam. I'll make the cocktail in a mixing glass, using a bar spoon, a jigger and a julep strainer. To create a bigger foam, I'll use a milk frother, the rose glass is already chilling with a large ice cube, so I can tell you about a hack for this cocktail, if you make it for a party. To have the beer foam always ready, so you can top many cocktails faster, make it in the cream whipper with a cream charger. Chill the mixing glass first, then add all the ingredients and stir until properly chilled and diluted. Some bartenders prefer to make the old fashioned directly in the glass the cocktail is served in, but when using a clear ice block, I prefer using the mixing glass. And while the American rye and bourbon whiskies are typically favored as the main spirit in an old-fashioned, I think the smooth Irish whiskey works exceptionally well too, especially if you decide to give it the crowd of the iconic Irish stout beer. Froth it up with a milk frother and place on top of the drink. Express an orange peel on top to pair it with bitters and the coffee notes in the foam. All of that will slowly blend with the cocktail. 
unlocking new layers of delicious flavors you really need to try. Cheers! And we are finally here at the end of the rainbow to find the pot of gold cocktail. It's aptly named not just because it's a wonderful cocktail, but also because we'll add actual gold on top of it. We'll also use two different Irish whiskies, ginger liqueur, honey syrup, lemon juice, and egg white. We need a shaker, a jigger, and to strain it, a hot horn and fine mesh strainers. I'll serve it in a cook glass, which I'll place in the freezer to chill. Consider this a bonus hack. You can strain an egg white through a hot horn strainer. Do it over a separate shaker, just in case. This time we're not going with just one Irish whiskey, but two. The addition of a pitted Irish whiskey won't overwhelm the drink, but it will give it a nice smoky complexity to go with the smoothness from our Napole Irish whiskey. We'll also get a subtle kick of ginger spice from the liqueur and a honeyed sweetness to balance it out. I'll use three parts honey to two parts water for my honey syrup. Lemon juice is a great acidic partner with Irish whiskey and it will balance out the sweet components. Lastly, egg white, part two of the bonus hack. Whisk it slightly to make it easier to measure. Shake hard without ice, which is known as a dry shake. Then emulsify the egg white and create a nice froth. Be careful because the pressure inside will want to open the shaker. Then add the ice and shake the chill and dilute. Double strain into a chilled cook glass. And to make it a pot of gold, sprinkle the cocktail with edible gold flakes. This foamy Irish version of a penicillin not only looks good, but a combination of flavors and texture is sure to leave you feeling lucky to have this cocktail in your hand. Is that the luck of the Irish? Maybe. Cheers! All of a sudden, St. Patrick's Day just won't be enough to celebrate everything Irish. Luckily, these four cocktails are great to enjoy throughout the year. That's when all the knowledge of the history of Irish whiskey comes in handy. So make sure to check out this neat video right now. See what I did there? Neat? Anyway, wherever you go, whatever you do, may the luck of the Irish be there with you. Cheers, lads and laces.